right, in today's video, I'm gonna give you my review of my full frame helmet, the Fox Pro Frame. I'm gonna tell you what I like about it, what I don't like, and then give you a rating on the appearance, the performance, the quality, the value, and the overall. Now let's start with what I like about this helmet. It is lightweight, number one. That's the reason why I bought this one over any other full frame helmet. You can pretty much wear this thing all day and you're not gonna notice it. Second, I really love this opening in the front of the chin bar here. It allows me to get my uh, water bladder uh, to take a drink pretty easily. I also really like this magnetic chin strap. It makes it very easy to buckle back up. And finally, it's uh, it's pretty well vented. You got a lot of vents, especially the chin bar. It's pretty wide open, so you get a lot of good airflow. You don't get too hot. It's still hotter than a half shell helmet, of course, because it's covering more of the sides of your head, but for a full face, it's not too hot. Now about what I don't like, it's, it's kind of tough to get on. Um, this is a medium and I wear a medium and everything. It's just a little bit tight to get it on, although when it's on, it doesn't feel too tight. Second, this visor is, it is where it is you can't adjust this up and down so that can kind of suck especially if you want if you've got goggles on and you want to raise the visor up and put your goggles up above your eyes you can't really do that you either have to take them off or just take the full helmet off all right so for the appearance i would give it four stars i kind of I mean, it's not like a totally cool design i guess the fox logo is pretty cool on the top but the sides is eh, kind of lame as far as the color, uh, this color was on sale, so that's the reason why I got this color. But I do like the bright yellow. As for the lines of the helmet itself, I do like the lines, especially with the chin bar. It looks pretty good. For quality, I would give it five stars. Obviously, I haven't crashed. I haven't gotten to use it, but it seems like it's very well built, pretty solid, and would hold up well in the crash. Plus, it also has MIPS, so it's good for uh, those rotational forces if you hit the ground and, and your head turns. For performance, I give it five stars. Again, I haven't crashed, so I don't know how well it protects, but I, I think it would protect pretty well. But just as far as wearing it, like I said, I've worn it all day. Haven't really noticed it there. It's very lightweight, very comfortable. For the value, I'm gonna go four stars here. You can certainly find full frame helmets for a lot less money, although, they're gonna be heavier. They probably won't have MIPS and they may actually have a worse design to them, but if you wanna go cheap, you can definitely find cheaper. I would, however, say that the value would be five stars if you can find this helmet on sale like I did. I bought it for 187 on sale instead of the retail price of 250. So for the overall, this gives the Pro Frame four and a half stars. If you're looking for a lightweight, full face helmet to wear to the bike park, as well as some more aggressive trail riding, I would definitely recommend the Pro Frame. If you'd like to pick one up right now, look down below in the description. I've got a link to this helmet on Amazon. So hopefully that gives you a good overview of the Fox Pro Frame and helps you decide if you wanna buy this one for yourself or not. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you like this helmet, if you own this helmet or if you own another helmet what you like and what you don't like about the helmet that you have thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next adventure